Whatever you do, do not adjust your sets. The women have multiplied, but these two are not here to pick on Tom. In fact, their first book, Eat Fat, Be Thin, convinced health-conscious Aussies that they can have their cake and eat it too. Yes. Now, authors Andy Liu and Dr. Natalie Kringudis are back by popular demand with their new collaboration, Eat Fat, Be Lean. It's a collection of 30 high-fat recipes intended to help you lose weight. Now, ladies, I'm so excited that you're here because I did buy your first book basically right. you had me at hello <laughs> that's most basically. people at eat yeah. fat be thin yeah that's pretty much it's all, one thing well, it's all because that's the thing we've been conditioned our whole life to avoid so how does it work tell us well, all we have to do is start by eating good fats and ditch the trans fats they're the nasties the man-made ones like margarine yep right. so you want to eat good things like this coconut butter here loving earth do a good one it is cold when when sorry it is hard when it's cold like a butter you can use it in baking um, you can even use it as a moisture Moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to moisturize, Tom. Tea toast? Yeah, yeah, yeah eat it, yummy. Put it, it on more. your body. Can I just let you know, though, that this amongst a little bit of sabotage from the girls ruined my omelette. Oh. Yeah. oh, that's where I saw it, it for it the first this. time. Yeah. 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 Got well, it, got it. If you don't yeah. like the flavour of that, you can use other it. sorts of oils, like olive oil is a neutral oil, but coconut butter is the only oil that doesn't become carcinogenic or cancer-causing when you heat it. So when you're frying with it, it's a really good oil. So do you just use it for cooking or can you use it as you would a butter on bread? Yeah, it's really delicious on toast or, or bread. You can it has just a use higher it. burn in temperature. It does. So oh, is that right? Not that's right, and it's not carcinogenic. But yeah. the reason that these things like coconut butter work so well is because they actually satisfy you on a nutritional level. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to keep on eating. Your body's happy and you stop, you know, at a normal amount for your body. I've seen my girlfriend do this, but I never actually... Kind of I use it to remove it, my makeup. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you can yeah, even yeah. use it as a lubricant uh, if you need that sort of thing. Okay. <laughs> as a what? <laughs> if, if, if you've got chap lips yes. or something, yes. like oh, that's that. right. You can, yes. you can also use um, cacao butter in the same way. So you can use this when it's a little Ooh. bit softer than this. They suggest that you use it as a lip balm, but we yes. use it in cooking. I particularly like to use this in icings and ice creams when you're making it from scratch okay. yourself. It's yeah. really good. It smells like a bounty bar. Yeah, it smells amazing. Did you so can you believe this? this stuff actually helps you get shredded? Delicious. Oh, and delicious. Yes, what? It's, it, it helps you get shredded. Because it is it not true that it helps your metabolism fire? Is that and right? And the way it works in what Dr Nat was talking about is there is a part of the brain that switches off the hunger mechanism when it mm. feels full on that nutritional level. And the most, the thing that we're missing in our Western world diet is fat because everybody says low fat. But if low fat, fat worked, we'd all be thin and we're not. Right. It's sugar that makes you fat, not fat. So yep. does it mean that we should completely avoid anything Low fat, low fat, cottage Absolutely. cheese, low Such fat, rubbish. anything, get rid of it. It's full of sugar. So when they take out the fat, they have to put something else back in to make it a stable food. So the best news is that you can eat fat in any way. So cheese terms is of, not off? Well, not necessarily, but it's something that we would put these fats before something like cheese. But yep. you find that when you eat low fat, that your brain is never satisfied on that nutritional level, so you're always feeling hungry, what else can I have? But when you eat the recipes from our book, you feel so full and satisfied, and that's how the metabolism... Because that's the trick, isn't it? It's not that you can eat all this fat and then have all the other stuff that you were having before. No. You have to completely change your diet, It's about right? being prepared yep. and understanding what your body requires nutritionally, and then making these changes the fat falls off like that's just the way we're designed to eat this stuff gets you shredded is that what you said yeah good fat gets you shredded cool i've got four <laughs> weeks <laughs> there you go. girls what's the story with chia powder i see it you chia know sweet. come up on yeah. commercials and stuff and what's so great about it well chia is they're full of essential fatty acids and essential meaning that your body needs it and it doesn't make it on its own. So you need to include these types of foods. Oily fish is another, another food source that's high in essential fatty acids.